She had been calling, asking her to help her, get her out of there, because they was going to kill her. Yeah, she was banging on the door and stuff and screaming and crying. Nobody deserves to be treated like worse than than dirt. Nobody deserves to go through what she went through. Oh, no. We don't know what happened. So the question is, what happened to Tanisha? A Louisville woman arrested for shoplifting in a police chase ended up dead in the custody of the Jackson County, Indiana jail. Investigators remain staunchly quiet about what happened to Tanisha Chappelle, but inmates who were with her are talking. It's a story you'll see only on WDRB. Tanisha was a loving person. She was a whole ball of energy. She loved her daughter, and it's not right. For Renisha Merle, tears. She deserved to have her spirit at peace. Have turned to anger. She was in their custody. She deserved to have been taken care of. My sister's black body was supposed to come home to us, to her child. Monday marks one month since Tanisha Chappelle died in the custody of the Jackson County Jail. Morell says she knows little more now than when she first got the call saying her sister was gone. There have really been no answers, no footage, no autopsy. And for her family, it means no peace. Day by day. For unending grief. Day by day, literally. Some days are harder than the others. But stories of what happened to Chappelle when she was locked up behind these brick walls are starting to emerge. Nobody deserves to go through what she went through. And the people who were behind bars with her and are now free. She would like stand up and then just kind of like fall over. She wasn't really making any sense. She said she was cold. Patricia Perkins says she was in a holding cell with Chappelle in the hours before her death. The jail staff brought her in from another pod clearly in medical distress. My sister is actually a trustee in the back and she said that she had just like vomited and um, like, like crapped on herself like in the day room and they just left her there until someone screamed and was like, hey, this girl needs help. Medical records obtained by WDRB confirm parts of Perkins' story. This report from Jackson County EMS. It says Chappelle's skin was warm and dry and had obvious yellow discoloration of the lower lip, suspected to be jaundice or possibly dried regurgitated bile. She also had a large 8 by 12 inch yellow mark on her chest and a swollen area of her forehead. Perkins says she was suffering. She kept asking for help. She kept asking for the nurse. She was banging on the door and stuff and screaming and crying. There's cameras so you can see what I'm saying is true. We went directly to Jackson County Sheriff Rick Meyer asking to see that footage and whether any jail staff had been placed on leave for the investigation into Chappelle's death. Our calls went unreturned. When we arrived, his staff said he was in a meeting. The jail won't release any information, saying it's all part of the ongoing state police investigation. County commissioners who oversee the jail also declined our interview request. The coroner didn't return calls either for an update on the autopsy and the timeline for toxicology reports. And County Attorney Susan Beavers, so I'm looking for Susan Beavers, uh, that's me. said she'd issue a statement via email, but it never came. Everyone I've talked to, uh, seems quite upset. With answers from officials few and far between. You can only imagine. The family's attorney hired retired FBI agent Doug Coons to privately investigate. He says he's interviewed about 10 former inmates or jail employees. Some, like Perkins, only saw Chappelle for a short time before her death. It makes them credible. The more I hear the same thing, the more believable they all become. But he says there's a consistent narrative. Hollering for help, struggling, moaning, vomiting sounds, distress. And he's using it to build a timeline. The young woman began struggling late at night, somewhere between um, lockdown and when people went to bed, which was like 10, 11 o'clock. That was on the night of the 15th. EMS records reveal the call for an ambulance didn't come until after 3 p.m. the next day. In those more than 15 hours, Chappelle collapsed in a common area, was hauled back to her cell, then moved to the holding area with Perkins, who finally made enough noise to get her to a hospital. I was like, hey, she's not all right in here. You know, she needs help. The EMS report says Chappelle was shackled on the way to Schneck Medical Center, cuffed at a wrist 
wrists and ankles. EMTs drove non-emergency, no lights or sirens, reporting general weakness. Yet she was dead less than three hours later. It's difficult to hear this stuff. I just can't imagine, no matter what people did to be there in the first place, nobody deserves to be treated like worse than, than dirt, than trash. I mean, it, it's just... What do you think happened to your sister? Well, I think they poisoned her. It's what Chappelle's family has said from the start. Murdered. That the 23-year-old had many problems in jail. She was called racist names, cut with a razor blade, and in another instance... She told me somebody put bleach in her uh, pickle juice and she had went off. And that's the same day she had told me, like, if she don't get out of her, they're going to kill her. Chappelle was arrested in May, charged with shoplifting from the Edinburgh Outlet Mall and a police chase that ended in a crash. She was still human. I don't care what she did. Like, she was human. She still deserved to be her. And despite lacking answers about how she died and why, they didn't care about her. Her sister says this family will not give up their fight. Everything you do in the dark comes to light, so it will reveal itself. You can only sleep so comfortably for so long. I spoke to an Indiana State Police spokesperson this week. He says their detectives are diligently looking for the truth. Still, while that happens, the family wants at least for them to be able to see that jail video to see what really happened to Tanisha Chappelle.